Good morning. Hello, my name is Mary Jane Puffer, and I am the board vice president of the California School Based Health Alliance. I'm so excited to welcome you today to the organization's first ever virtual statewide conference. That being said, I'm asking for your patience and grace because, as you know, things happen and we're just going to do our best, but we're confident to give you a great program. If you're new to the California School Based Health Alliance or CSHA as we call it, I am so pleased you are joining us. CSHA is a statewide alliance that advocates for increased access to health care for California's children and adolescents through schools. We provide technical assistance and guidance for starting and expanding school based health centers. The annual conference is our biggest event, and this again is the first time that we posted it virtually. So patience, please. We are dedicating this conference to our late colleague, Selena Mendoza, who tragically passed away in May. Selena was our Central Valley Project Director for almost a decade and was a primary driver of much of the growth, growth of school-based health centers in the Central Valley. Many of you in the Valley knew Selena and remember her for being a bridge builder who unified community members around a shared goal of bringing health healthcare to young people. Selena was beloved to CSHA and to many in the Central Valley and beyond. We will miss her amazing and unique ability to network and build communities of passionate advocates for school-based health. She loved our annual conferences and she would say it felt like being part of a huge school-based health family. We still feel that. Sorry. I would like to ask that we bring that energy with us to this conference this week, even as we do so virtually. At CSHA, we plan to honor Selena's passion, her drive and vision by continuing to do this work and expand healthcare access for California children and teens who need it most. Right now is such a critical time for providing access to health and mental health services for children and youth. School-based health centers have always been on the front lines of healthcare by serving students from communities with the most challenges and the least access to our healthcare system. This year has been a real test for that system. And for those of us on the fault lines of that system, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought families to the brink, not to mention our health and education systems. Adding to that, the unending racial injustices, black indigenous people of color face all the time. And this year has been another year of rising up in protest at constant broadcasts of savage police violence and systemic oppression against black indigenous people of color. Our youth are resilient, but they are under incredible strain. A California state auditor report released last week revealed what many of us know. The number of youth suicides and self-harm incidents in California have increased dramatically over the past 10 years. The report said access to mental health professionals decreased the likelihood of youth suicide, but that none of more than 1,000 local educational agencies in California employ the recommended number of professionals. The report also said that school-based health centers can increase access to mental health services, but only 4% of students in California have access to them. Only 4% of students in California have access to mental health services. This is not news for most of us, but I, as well as many of you know, as, as well as many of you, continue to have hope because our youth have hope and we must not give up our perseverance. We must continue to do this difficult work. CSHA is going to continue to advocate more funding to support your work, to create more school-based health centers and to reach more young people in California. With that, I wanna bring us back to the opportunity that we have in these next three days to learn, to connect and to grow. I do wanna make a celebratory announcement, which is that we now have 291 school-based health centers in California that expand access to healthcare for about 286,000 students. Yay. We are working hard to update that list of school-based health centers on our website, and we will be posting a link to the list and would like you to please check it out and let us know if you don't see your school-based health center listed there, or if the services that are listed have changed, 
please update that. And just like the census happening now, make sure to get counted. I do need to make some housekeeping announcements. Please complete an evaluation after each day. We will be posting the link and we'll also be giving out prizes to randomly selected attendees who have completed the evaluation. Prizes for those who completed the evaluation. You can also look for a link in the, to the evaluation in your email this evening. Also, check out the brain breaks. We have so many learning opportunities with our workshops, but also activities for you to unwind, meditate, and practice self-care. Take advantage of them. Find your inner peace, your inner groove, or your inner kickboxer, and have fun because you deserve it. I want to take a moment also to thank our sponsors who made this event possible despite all of the obstacles this year. Thank you to our presenting sponsor, Anthem Blue Cross, our platinum sponsors, Aetna and Kaiser Permanente, our gold sponsor, the California Health Found Healthcare Foundation, our public health partner is the California Department of Public Health, our silver sponsors are the Pacific Southwest Mental Health Technology Transfer Network and the Los Angeles Trust for Children's Health. We are grateful for you for prioritizing school health and we thank you for supporting this event. Yay, everybody's clapping, thank you. Please check out our sponsors and also our exhibitors. Go to the sponsors tab and the exhibitors tab and see the great services that they have to offer to help you in your work. After you check them out, go to the contest tab and take the sponsor exhibitor raffle quiz. We will be giving away fabulous prizes each day to the folks we pick who have completed the quiz, the exhibitor raffle quiz. You can win one of two getaways valued at more than $500 and one of many gift cards we have. Finally, have fun, participate. We will be giving gift cards to the three top winners in our leaderboard after the event is over. There's a lot and learn to learn and do this week. And we thank you for joining us in this virtual experience. Thank you. <laughs>